Hey everyone, this is Nadia from the Cognito Forms team. In this series, we're going to learn how to take your workflows to the next level using the lookup field. Essentially, the lookup field allows you to pull data from one form to another. You can then use that data to track prices and in inventory, route confirmations to the right people, automatically filter out choice options, and much more. Before we get into the nitty gritty of building data lookups, let's talk about the lookup field itself. This feature is available to organizations on the team plan and above. When you add a lookup field to your form, you may notice that it closely resembles a choice field. They do look and function in similar ways, but the choice options in a lookup field are actually based on entries from other forms. For example, let's look at our Cognito Coffee inventory form. On this form, I've added a few fields to record my inventory, including text box fields for the type and blend, a number field for the quantity available, and a currency field for the price. Then on the entries page, I've entered the details for each item and submitted the items as separate entries. Now that my inventory is complete, I want to be able to reference the data from this form over on my Cognito Coffee order form. And this is where the lookup field comes into play. To get started, simply open the form builder and select the lookup field from the add field menu. The first thing you'll need to do is pick the field type to determine how the choices will appear on your form. It can be drop downs, radio buttons, or checkboxes. Keep in mind that once you select a type and save the form, the type cannot be changed later. Underneath the field type, you can select the form that you want to look up choices from. The lookup field can look up data from any form in your organization, including ones that have been archived but not from encrypted forms. And just like the field type, you can't change the lookup source form after you've hit that save button. Once you connect the Cognito Coffee inventory form, all of the field data from that form becomes available to you, with the exception of repeating section and table data. You can access this data through the lookup field itself or in calculations elsewhere on your form. For this reason, you really only need to use one lookup field for each form that you're looking up data from. When you preview the form, you'll see that the coffee blends and prices from the inventory form automatically appear in the dropdown. Now that you know a little bit more about the lookup field, you can continue with our next video to learn how to create your own data lookup. Or you can check out the lookup section in our template gallery to play around with some pre-built example forms, including the ones in this video.